Comic Army, I'm currently approaching 550 subscribers. When I hit that 550 mark, I'm going to be announcing some of the prizes I'm going to be giving away for that fantastic 600 subscriber contest. Make sure that you're subscribed. Comic Army, my name is Chris, the Comic Vet. Hope this video finds you safe and well. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Well, let's rephrase that. Happy Mystery Box Monday. Yes. I happen to have a uh, Box Heroes Mystery Box that was sitting at my United States mailbox for well over 21 months. Well, it's now here in my possession. And this particular monthly subscription Mystery Box was sent to my mailbox um in october 2020 so this box has been waiting to be opened wow for i guess 15 months now let's uh let's check this out and get into it now i've opened a couple box heroes mystery boxes over the last little while uh, a couple were good a couple were not so good and one was terrible so let's find out where this one's gonna lie so again, this is just a normal size mystery box. There's going to be no slab in here, unfortunately. Um, they did include uh, their mailer, flyer, and they included a three jokers playing card featuring Batgirl and the Joker. So nothing else in the box, but it is well packaged as Box Heroes normally does. And uh, I'm gonna try not to look and I will read anything that's written on the back of these comic books to you before I expose them. Well, you can probably guess just by what I'm gonna say, what's gonna be here. It's Batman Three Jokers number two, the premium variant cover D all right so we have some Jason Fabok work uh, story was by Jeff Johns Jason Fabok and Brad Anderson this is the Joker behind bars hmm. all right not bad not bad uh, there's nothing writ written on the back of this particular issue so let's see oh okay very nice this is uh, Venom issue 27, uh, Venom Beyond. This is the third printing. So yeah, pretty cool. Here we have Null. Looking like he's standing in front of a cross, but yeah. Pretty cool. I do enjoy those later printings of Venom. Okay, written on the back of this cover says Adam Hughes. So it's an Adam Hughes cover. Black Widow. Very nice. I am a big fan of Kelly Thompson's Black Widow. This is uh, Black Widow issue number two. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. I believe I may already have this as I I believe it's we are on issue 13. Yeah. And I have issue one through 13. So I may already have this in my PC. But yeah. Very nice. Adam Hughes. Okay. Written on the back. <laughs> is uh, a Canadian artist, Kari Andrews, the zombies variant. So Kari, like Atari, Andrews, the zombie variant of this particular book. All right, so this is Champions Outlawed, issue two, issue number one. Very nice. Yeah, it looks like it's in great shape as well. Probably a 9.6 at least. So yeah, Champions Outlawed, the Marvel Zombies variant done by Kari Andrews. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, so there's nothing written on the back of this one, but it does feel like a thicker book. So maybe it's a... Uh, hmm, like an anniversary edition kind of book. Let's see. Wow. So this is Batman 100 like a white sketch cover 
Wow, this is actually really cool. I enjoy sketch covers like this. This is very, very nice. Wow. I'm not sure if this is worth a significant amount of money, but like I said, I love getting sketch covers, especially ones that have like a little bit of flavor to them like this one does. Very nice. I'm pleased with that one. Okay. There's nothing written on the back of this book either. Oh, very good. The Fall of the Mutants. I can remember the day that this book was released. This is Uncanny X-Men 226. Yes. Double-sized uh, special issue. Very, very cool. This is a Mark Silvestri cover. Yeah. Very, very cool. All right. This book takes me takes me right back. Does it say the year? Yeah, 1987. Yeah, that was 13. I can remember the day that this book was released. And I picked it up. Yeah, very, very cool. This book is probably in much better condition than mine, than mine is because mine was read two or three times over. Plus, possibly lent out to <laughs> let some of my other friends read it. So this one feels like it's a little bit of a thicker book as well, but there's nothing written on the back of it. So here we go. Wow, world's finest. So this is an older book. Uh, it says a dollar comic, uh, September 1980. This is world's finest, uh, 264, featuring Green Arrow, Shazam, Aquaman, Hawkman, Superman, and Batman. Five fantastic features, six superhero sensations. Very cool. Very, very cool. I don't recognize the artwork per se, but yeah. The second last book has also has nothing written on the back of it. It feels like it's just a normal book. Oh, Doomsday, Walking Towards the Death of Superman. One of the most printed books uh, of the 1990s. Yeah, so this is Superman, The Man of Steel. Uh, issue number 19. Yeah, right. I was personally not a big fan of them killing off the Man of Steel. But, you know, they had to sell some books. So, yeah. I'm not sure if this one has much secondary value. But I do know some of the early Doomsday appearances do have... That are like five, ten dollar books. But anyways... The last book is the subscriber bonus book, and it says it's a J. Scott Campbell variant. Maybe it's a Spider-Man book. Maybe. Oh, it's a Black Widow. A Black Widow number one. Black Widow number two. So yes, this is a Black Widow number two, the variant edition. Uh, this is J. Scott Campbell cover. But yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, very, very nice. She, uh, she, has, she has some nice bracelets on there. So yeah, uh, I'll just do a quick little recap. Uh, Batman, Three Jokers, issue number two. The D cover variant. Venom, the third printing of issue 27. Uh, this is Black Widow. Number two, Adam Hughes cover. This is the Zombies variant done by Kari Lakatari Andrews, a Champions Outlawed issue number one. This is Batman issue 100 sketch cover. Pardon me. Uncanny X Men 226. Mark Silvestri cover featuring the Fall of the Mutants storyline. This is issue 264 from September 1980. World's Finest Comics. The book I just showed a few moments ago, the J. Scott cover, J. Scott Campbell cover <laughs> of Black Widow, issue number two. And last but not least, the first superhero of them all, Superman, the Man of Steel, issue number 19, featuring Doomsday. 
So Kamikami, this is actually one of the better box heroes boxes I think I got, at least as a collector. Uh, spec wise, I'm not too sure, but uh, yeah, that's not bad for a monthly subscription box. Not too bad. Let me know what you think. Uh, please hit that like button. Go ahead and leave a comment. I try to respond to every single one that gets left to me. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Until I see you again, Comic Army. Take care.